Welcome to the Great Barn Cleanout. It's coming to a theater near you. Actually, just coming to this channel. We are going to be <laughs> opening this barn, cleaning it, unloading everything that we're saving from our garage, and painting projects. Yeah, I'm gonna just pull stuff out and Jamie's gonna paint it as I grab it out. We're gonna get the sprayer set up so that she can do it quick and the sun, it should dry fast. We're gonna show you how to get an entire tent full of product, maybe two tents worth, done in just a couple days. So I just got done in the shop because Kaziah needed to grab something out of the basement. So I was just watching the front desk and helping. And Zeb has my work cut out for me. <laughs> I'm gonna get started painting. I'm gonna pick some colors and get going. These I thrifted a long time ago and they're like greasy and dusty. So I've got Dawn on them. I'm gonna get them a little wet and let them soak and then I'll scrub them off so I can paint them. Dawn is really the fixer of all kitchen grease. Sometimes I suffer from decision anxiety and when you're painting this much stuff, you don't have time to really be like, what do I do? You know, what am I gonna paint this next? So I've decided I've pulled one of each cottage color and a primer and I'm just gonna paint one color till it's gone switch to the next color and then when I'm all finished we'll have a rainbow of items that'll look really good together. The very first paint that I'm pouring into my spray gun is Americana. Just a couple tablespoons of water to one pint of paint and shake it up. <laughs> is shining but it's also raining so everything is gonna get a second coat of paint for sure so really the rain I don't even want to call it storm the rain sprinkle the only thing it ruined was this piece so we'll just lightly sand it and we respray it and everything else I was able to move out <laughs> in time why does it always rain Zeb because we've got time for that we got time for rain well Zeb's making me a spot so worst case I'm just gonna spray in here you might want to cover cover your box blade. Oh, you got all those strips of MDF. Yeah, I told you I we can cut those into signs. I told you I had some. Yay. This is the barn, you guys. This is the barn. We're going to be selling stuff. So since it's decided to rain outside, I have my IOD transfer and I'm going to start working on a few pieces that just need transfers. It's a good thing to do when you're hot, you're watching TV, it's raining because it's super simple. I have these two like French wall baskets, one sold, one still available, and then just this little teapot. Since I'm not painting this, all I have to do is rub it on with a stick and then I can peel this plastic back and it will attach to my piece. All right, here's the reveal. Look how cute that is. Now we're just gonna put some sealer on it. So I'm just brushing on a coat of Big Top to seal this transfer on my pieces and they'll be good to go. All right, so here are my pieces. This one's gonna get shipped out when it dries and these two, I just have to update the listings. These actually aren't for the barn sale, but I just needed to get them done and out of the barn because they're already on the way. Well, I've used about, I don't know, half a can of Americana and I've painted so much stuff. I even repainted the top on that. So we're gonna, this paint's gonna go a long way, especially since we're just spraying it on. Taking a break from painting and I noticed that Zeb has something interesting going on. It's, it's better than sweeping. Jamie has what we like to refer to as her chair army. You never know when you're gonna need a place to sit. But I'm hanging them. This is just old, uh, this goes on the bottom of the, uh, the fence, the chain link fence to keep it all together from swaying out. And I'm just using it to hang. I got a ton of it left over, a whole wrap. I feel like I have room for more chairs now that you can hang them from the rafters. <laughs> <laughs> this piece I just lightly distressed with 220. Touched up the top lip there a little bit and put the hardware back on. It's ready for my barn sale. So these actually already sold and all I had to do after I sprayed them was dry brush them with white linen. So basically the, the brush is almost dry and then I just come across it 
And then it brings out all the texture in the ceiling tiles. These are already sold, so we gotta get them shipped out. So we were gonna try to get some more stuff painted before football, but as you can see, a storm is a brewing. Haul it out, haul it back in. Haul so, it out, haul it back in. So we're gonna we're gonna put all this stuff back in. But we do have a nice little pile of completed spray projects. Since it's raining, we're headed to football practice and Jack and Redrick are getting all their drills in. We know that fall is coming. When football starts, we know we only have a limited amount of time to get that garage cleaned out before we're gonna have a hot mess express we gotta deal with in the snow. It is Thursday morning. We are back in the shop. I'm just pulling out the things that are already on the website that won't be in the barn sale, things that have sold. This is that chest we painted yesterday. I wanted to show you what it looked like. This is the fabric. We literally just sprayed the canvas, sprayed the faux leather, sprayed the wood, like the paint sticks to everything so good. And then I did do dark wax on the detail, which I feel like it needed because it was kind of one note. And this makes this special latch like really pop. So now this is ready to be shipped out. And if you guys watched Waste Not Wednesday, here are our finished projects. The wax is cured. I updated those on the website and I just have one more little project to do in here and then I'm gonna start spraying outside. I just have this little crock from the thrift haul. I grabbed a traditional pots transfer. I'll just put a little white transfer on it. It's gonna be cute. All right, here it is. Look how cute that is. Just some sealer and this one's done. So in case anybody was wondering, one of my favorite places to take pictures at the shop is on the floor. I'm gonna show you. So a lot of my pictures are right here because I love the floor. I love the green backdrop. I've got this little chippy box here. And so if you ever see anything with this, it was photographed on the floor. Please don't let anybody come in and see me sitting on the floor photographing, but it does happen sometimes. They just come right through the door and I'm photographing inventory. It's fine. Zeb loaded up my spray gun with white linen. And so white is gonna be the next color. We did a ton of stuff in the um, Americana, a lot of it was actually just stuff for inside the shop, but we're gonna do this color, then maybe pink, then maybe mint. We'll just keep rotating it around. I have and a pink out here right now that needs- I think I'm gonna just do that color. one white, cause it's out. Oh, yeah, that works. Yeah, we're gonna Are you gonna get do get those uh, sleighs white too? Yeah, the sleighs are going white too. So the sleighs, whatever you want to call them. Yeah. linen out of my gun and I added the Salvation Solution primer because I need to prime these crocs before we paint them and I have some dressers that we found on the side of the road and I'm worried about bleed through so I'm gonna run a bunch of stuff and get primer done. So now we're working on some bigger pieces. This table we got for free. We got that hutch that we did a few weeks ago um, and we're gonna go ahead and just get it primed because I don't think anybody's gonna buy it as is. It's got overspray on it. It just needs a fresh new look. So while I was cleaning out the barn, guess what happened? The black hutch sold. So this is not going in the barn sale. It's gonna be sold inside because I need a piece. I've got this piece and then I've got this piece here. So we're gonna move this around and reorganize it so we don't have a blank spot. At least it's painted and I have something to go here. All right, so legs are glued up and I'm just gonna clean, like lightly sand the top clean off the dust and get it primed. I'm gonna let the sun shine in the day I'm trying to make this darkness go away I'll paint with colors and I'll sing until my lungs give out Gonna let the sun shine in today. To get the paint products used here today, visit jamierayvintage.com. So I, I just got back from lunch and I realized I have four hours before I have to go to Salt Lake and pick up Odelia and my mom from the airport. And then the boys have football. So this might be a two part video. We will still have the barn sale this weekend, but next week might be like barn clean out continued because I don't think this is going to look super after four hours. But what we might do is while the barn sale is going on, 
we might just keep working in here. It won't be in this video, but we'll keep clearing things out and cleaning things up. We'll see. But let's check on my primer. So last time we were here, this was halfway under the shade. Now it is like super like dried hard on here. I'm going to do one more coat of primer on this table and then I will paint it distress it and I will move it into the shade to seal it, seal it. And this will be a nice big piece. I'll probably take the leaves out of it. Um, so it doesn't take up so much space in the tent, but this will be a nice big piece for our barn sale. And then those pieces over there, I'm gonna finish up as well. At least we'll have two colors done and then we'll see what else we get finished. So Zeb's working on this piece right now. He's over there gluing drawers. It had these big long knobs on it and I'm trying not to invest too much because honestly waterfall dressers don't get a ton of like I'm not going to sell it for a lot but I found these brass knobs they're kind of patinaed and so I can put two on there and then we'll paint it a fun color and maybe dark wax it and I think it'll be cute. So I'm filming from a chair because I'm about to have heat stroke. Zeb is using final finishes in gloss to seal the top and it's dripping down the side so I'll probably have to seal the rim too but this is going to be super durable and wipeable and even though the cottage color has a built-in sealer when you're doing a tabletop I suggest at least a couple extra coats of sealer so that way it's nice and wipeable and holds up to the abuse that tabletops do. What are you doing <laughs> on this lovely piece here? It needs to be trimmed down? Yeah well so I'm gonna have to put a uh, basically a spacer block in this end here and I'm only going to cut it to the depth and then right there and then I'm going to put a piece of wood in there so that the hinge can have something to attach to. Oh I got it. This this piece is going next level. This, one? this table is all the way done and ready for tomorrow. There's the chair that I've been sitting in trying to cool off and then I was going to show you because we get asked a lot how much can you paint with a pint of cottage color we painted now it is a sprayer which does sometimes help because it goes on nice and thin but we painted this entire dresser this big birdhouse and paint blue and then these three canisters with one pint and there's a little bit left in my spray gun i showered i actually didn't even take time to brush my hair because i am off to pick up grandma and odelia from the airport and i left up to bring all that stuff in um, and then I guess we'll just wait till tomorrow so we'll see what happens. It's going to be rush hour traffic so let's see how bad it actually is. Hopefully I get there on time because we also have football practice tonight. of grandma and Odelia from the airport. Zeb was busy just sweeping and organizing. Sometimes the dirty work isn't very exciting, but it makes a huge difference when you can clean things up, put them away and have a spot to get your projects done. We mixed a custom color of gray skies and crockery for a custom job that we were doing. And this, we have a ton left over for them because we basically made a court. And I'm just going to use that on this piece and see how it is. I might lighten it up a little bit and do a second coat if it's too dark. To the end. Oh. Hardware is going back on. I'm like on the fence. You guys comment below if you like the fleur de lis. It wouldn't have been my first choice, it but was the only thing I had that was already. <laughs> <laughs> so if it doesn't sell at the barn sale, then we'll just change it out. It's fine. It goes with the mid-century modern poles, right? Yeah, I actually love these this hardware. It's really pretty. Here's a few pieces that we're gonna pull into the barn tonight, but that will be in our barn sale tomorrow. Here is our very white table that was way more work than I thought it would be. Um, it's all sealed up. I might distress it a little bit more tomorrow, but it's basically done, which is great because tables are a lot of work. And so I'm glad to have this out of the garage. So I'm headed to throw these empty cans away and look what's on the side of the shop. Zeb must have found that in the barn and fixed the hose. This is why I love organizing. So here's these little projects that I painted yesterday. 
I actually have an entire box of stuff that is gonna go out as is. Um, so that's kind of fun. We've got this piece here is gonna go out. It's like hiding. So tomorrow we'll pull all this stuff out. Here's a cute little cradle. I actually think we bought this a year ago with Debbie Beard and we finally finished it. Inside of it, I actually have these cute little uh, truck with trees that we found cleaning stuff out. So these are gonna go in the barn sale. I've already listed these on the website in case anybody else wants to purchase them. Here is our little display. I have a feeling that this will get changed up after the barn sale. If there's a piece or two that doesn't sell, then we'll kind of pull this out and make it look a little bit different. But this is where the hutch was that sold. And this was gonna be in the barn sale, but we needed it for the shop. A lot of what we finished was old thrift haul stuff that need to be painted. Here are those, remember they used to have grapes on them? Those are all painted up. This actually was from last week, but we got that painted. And these, Zeb bought these, I don't even know how long ago, but they have been like floating around and they're all painted now. Oh, look at this cute little display. These are the canisters that I painted hay blue. It's kind of hard to tell because the light's shining in, but they turned out darling. Oh, I was looking for one more thing and there it is. This was that birdhouse that Zeb bought. Got that all painted up. I'm gonna lock the door for the night, turn off the lights, but I'm thinking that the shop looks pretty great. So if people come inside, when they come to the barn sale, they'll also find that we're very well stocked and organized in here. Some of the things you saw as paint are actually back here in our staging area, just waiting to be shipped. So here's that chest. And then here is our cute little, um, gosh, what is this called? Like a little tote. We painted it white. And then I added part of the stencil from the craft kit. I actually had no idea that we had all these cutting boards. That's kind of fun. I might get those up, a few of them in the barn sale. And we have some more MDF cutouts here too. So if you guys have not checked out the website, um, definitely check out the thrift haul collection because a lot of the things that you saw us paint are in the thrift haul collection. We finally updated the photo and yeah, they're done. So we'd be happy to move them along because we are knocking out projects here. It was a million degrees, but definitely worth getting it done because although it's hot right now, it is going to get like fall's going to be here before we know it. And we've got to get this barn in order. Our garage is in order. So, so many things to still get done. So Zeb moved the hang blue piece in, but it will look cute with the brass hardware. You have to wait for next week on the next episode to find out what it looks like. All right, thanks for joining us for Barna Palooza Barn Cleanout video one, part one. Yeah, it's gonna have to be part one because it's end of the day, we got football tryouts and practice to be to, and we gotta go. So we will see you on the next episode and we will show you what it looks like when it's all set out and cute. If you guys like this video, be sure to hit that share button, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more. DIY. Bye you guys.